With cardiovascular disease killing one person every seven minutes in Canada, a Southwest-based health clinic has introduced a new screening test to help determine a patient's risks of encountering heart problems. Steve Kelly tells us how in this next report. <laughs> Under the premise that prevention is often better than cure, this Calgary-based wellness centre is using ultrasound technology to open a window on the cardiovascular system. We are able to specifically measure one's risk and come up with a vascular age, and we can determine the age of your arteries. So if we tell someone who is 45 years old that they have the arteries of a 60-year-old, well, that's a little bit more eye-opening to the, the patient versus telling them an actual number, and it gives a little bit more of an impact statement to one's uh, risk profile. Carotid IMT works by using an ultrasound process to determine the thickness of the carotid arteries in the neck. Now the idea is that should the carotid arteries show signs of narrowing, then there's a good chance that similar problems could exist within the heart itself. But why not just examine the heart directly? can't look directly at the heart arteries non-invasively. We do lots of invasive tests where we can do that. But in terms of screening people, we can't look at those arteries uh, non-invasively because they're in the chest. The carotid artery is very close to the surface, so you can actually visualize those arteries, and we know that what goes on in the arteries of the neck is likely to be going on in the arteries of the heart and the rest of the arteries of the body. But while carotid IMT may indeed represent a window into the cardiovascular system, it's far from providing the complete picture. What it can do, however, is provide people with a quick estimate of the likely state of their arterial walls. CIMT is only part of a comprehensive uh, program of risk factor identification. So the most important part is looking at your clinical risk factors, but CIMT can be used to offer an additional objective number that can make people aware of what their risk of heart disease is. One person who decided to find out what her risk of heart disease was <laughs> is Sandra Thatcher. Showing me that I do have some blockage and my carotid arteries are a little older than what they should be, five years older, so it was quite the shock. And uh, hopefully with diet and exercise and, uh, you know, eating properly, I can get rid of some of my um, factors and uh, improve my health. Now, currently very few private healthcare clinics in Canada are providing a CIMT service. But as more and more people become proactive when it comes to their own health care requirements, having a CIMT could soon become as commonplace as having a blood test. Steve Kelly, Shorty v Calgary.